Charles Schwartzel has done it. The South Africa winning for the second time on the PGA Tour. His second win since victorious at the 2011 Masters. The Valspar Championship does not disappoint again. Third playoff in the last five years. Golf Central is on the air. Golf Central. Brought to you by Titleist. Hi there, welcome to Golf Central. Wow, what a finish at the Valspar Championship. Brian Burr along with a pair of PGA Tour winners, Brian Bateman and Jim Gallagher Jr. And guys, I'm not sure who gets the win today. Was it the golf course or was it Charles Schwartzel? It was carnage out there. Who? Survival of the fittest. Well, it really was. The golf course won. The front nine didn't look like anybody to want to win, but he, uh, you know, he birdies four out of the last eight and got it done, uh, hit some good shots. Golf course played tricky. A lot of gusting wins, kind of hard to judge that, but some of the worst putting I'd seen in a long time. I'm not sure if that was pressure or what that was, or the win or something, just their mind got away from them a few times today. Yeah, we didn't see a lot of putts made today. Really, we didn't see any putts made all week. A little surprised at that because, it's, you know, it's been four days since we've yeah. uh, been on the golf course, and the players just never could get the speed, never could seem to get the ball to the hole on aggressive lines. Big win for Charles Wurzel. Mm -hmm. So last year was Jordan Spieth. He wins the Valspar, then he wins the Masters. Now it's a former Masters champion winning for the second time on the PGA Tour, Charles Schwartz. So let's show you how it all got done. Indeed, it was a wild day. Bill Haas, the 54-hole lead, one-shot lead. Here he is at the fourth. Well, right here, it's sitting up fairly decent. Just got a little cue. Look how he lifted his body, his head up. And the first choice there, he's got to get it on the green. But it was Schwartz that started the day five back. Had to find something, get something going. He does it 11. Just a beautiful three wood here. He had to hit a high left to right shot around the pine trees to a pin that really you can't get to with a pitching wedge. And he does it with a three wood. Beautiful shot setting up birdie. And he get up and down for birdie. So five under. Just all of a sudden he's one back after a bogey at 13. Schwartz now here at 13. Well, he played kind of a safe shot over there, but a smart shot because this green's been very firm all week long. Long distance putt. Very tough Wait to judge. Wait a minute. Long distance. Well, that's a lot. That's a long 64 distance feet. From way downtown, Schwartzel says bang, 144 feet of putts made today. That's more than double of anyone else to 12, and we're just getting started. It's Haas for birdie. Yeah, Billy's in a good position here. Great shot into a tough left hole location. In control of the tournament at this point with a birdie. Three-shot lead. Game over, right? Uh, not quite yet, but uh, we thought this was a tough lie. <laughs> you said it wasn't, though, Burr. You were right. I felt it coming from Schwartzel. Great touch there. He saves par, but he's still two back. Schwartzel now at 17. He's got to make something happen. Beautiful putt here. You know, it's turned out to be a race between he and Bill Haas coming down the stretch, and he knows he's got to make birdie here on 17. He pours it right in the middle. Yeah, the birdie run was on, as Jim indicated. Birdie's four of his last eight. He is one back. Schwartzel now at 18 for a tie. Well, I remember at the Masters, birdied the last four. Could he do it here? Up the slope. 39 feet. He needed one more inch to the right. But he does post at 7 under, 67 in the final round. At the time, you have to think, what is he thinking? Am I in? Am I out? Well, Haas still out on the golf course, still with a one-shot lead. Yeah, poor approach shot here on 16. The most difficult hole on the golf course. And just loses speed at the end. Causes him a bogey. And I think now he's starting to feel the nerves. Haas now at 18. Well, it's just 163 yards. Not a bad life from this right rough hole location. A new hole location on the back right. They talked to Brad Fable, tour official. Said he wanted to see some excitement. Give a guy a chance if he did hit in a rough. Snakes just on the fringe there. But he would give himself a chance. Yep. The Valspar Championship has never been won in its history with a birdie on 18. Bill Haas would have that chance. Schwartzel can't look, but we all could. Brand new hole location. Does he putt it? Does he chip it? He goes with his putt and he hits a great putt, but no much. And he would make par from there, so we've got playoff. Playoff? Playoff. Let's have another one. So we go to the playoff. Schwartzel and Haas going to do 18 again. Bill hit a little bit of a waiver shot. Got a decent break at the drop off the cart path. Just depends how it comes out of this lie. Might come out a little heavy, and it does. Ugh. Not what he's looking for. One hop into a greenside bunker. Schwartzel now, second shot. Well, with Bill Haas in the right bunker, he just needs to play to the middle of the green. Pretty much the same approach shot he hit in regulation. Fat side of the green, perfect distance control. 
puts more pressure on Billy Haas here. Indeed he does. So Haas is third from the bunker. He's got to get up and down. He's been a scrambling genius all week, but needs one here. Well, these bunkers have been uh, pretty heavy sand, hard to spin it. That came out too hot for him. Not a good shot. No. 20 feet past the pin. Now putting for par. This is for all the marbles. To extend the playoff, never had it online. Charles Schwartz is your winner. And that ends it. It's a bogey for Haas on the first playoff hole, and Schwartzel has this for par, and he has done it. Charles Schwartzel wins for the first time in his career in a PGA Tour playoff, and he does it by beating Bill Haas on the first playoff hole. Haas held that one-shot lead going into the 16th tee, and it is Schwartzel, the former Masters champion, with a 67 on this golf course. Look at the other scores on your leaderboard. 72, 71. There is a 69 by an amateur. We'll get into that. The rest are 70 or above, but not Schwartzel. On the biggest day of all, a 67. He spoke with our George Savarikas. Thanks. What a final round there, Charles. How are you able to get it done? Yeah, it was tough. You know, today was one of those days that I thought anything could happen. Uh, I was I was hitting, uh, trying to hit mostly middle of the green and keep the ball in play and take the birdies when they came. It was it was really nice playing with Steve. Um, I, I, I enjoy playing with him and it's nice to feed off him. And uh, um, yeah, I just caught light on the on the back nine. You know, it was uh, I'm very proud of myself. What's it like to finally get that second win on the PGA Tour following up with the, the green jacket you obviously won 2011? <laughs> it, it, look, it, it helps a lot. Uh, um, you know, after winning Augusta, you, you think you think short term, you think you're going to win a lot. You know, um, but it was a rough ride. You know, it was tough for a few years, and uh, um, game felt good enough, but it became a mental a mental thing, and it's nice to to overcome that. All right, here the band plan. Charles Schwartzel with the second career PGA Tour victory. Thanks for the time. Let's send it back to the studio. Thanks. Thanks. Congrats. Well, guys, you said all week long this was playing like a major championship golf course, the Copperhead course at Innisbrook. And you take a look at the last five major champions and what they have done this season. Setting up, I've said it before, this is setting up to be an incredible Masters with so many guys. Throw Phil Mickelson into this, who's finished in the top three a couple times. So many guys that play well on that golf course at Augusta National playing well at the right time. And we can now, now add Charles Schwartzel to that list. Listen, we didn't mention him once mm -hmm. no. on an hour no. pregame show today. No. no. Didn't mention him once. Five shots back. Guilty. Uh, a 67 on this golf course. Don't go crazy on me here, but big picture, how good was that 67 on a day where just about everyone else was 70 or above? Well, you said it. You look at the scores. There just weren't any good scores out there. Weren't the conditions were very difficult. He's played, been playing pretty well this year. He won the Swanee Opens, won a couple times in South Africa, and you know he just played. He putted well. He didn't drive it necessarily well. Only hit 44% of his fairways. Or, uh, yeah, all, uh, all week long. Greens and regulation, he was 10th, but his putting, it saved him right there. And he hit some crucially great shots. After the bogey at 10, we weren't quite sure what was going to happen. But on 11, he hit one of the most incredible three woods in there. And, and not many people have been able to hold this green, Brian. That was one of the cool things is coming in here. Most of the guys that have hit this green, it was so firm. It landed like a seven iron right there. And I think that's one of the things. You know, Schwartzel's, as you said, it played like a major golf course. Golf tournament, golf course, etc. He's a major champion, and that's what happens on this golf course. The guys that are hitting it the best, we said that the guys that were going to be hitting it the best and obviously making the putts, that was a putt that uh, obviously he didn't plan for. But you make 144 feet of putts, that's putting pretty well. But four birdies on the last eight holes, pretty impressive golf coming down the line to win, uh, to win this week. Brian, what we did say on the pregame show, without mentioning Charles Schwartzel, we did say it would be incredibly difficult to come from 5-6 back today because we just didn't know if this golf course, with the wind blowing, with rain in the area, with the greens as slow as they were because of the redo, we didn't know if there was a 67 out there. He proved there was. How good of a round of golf was it? Well, it's a championship golf course. It has major implications to me, the way the trees define the fairways, uh, not the speed of the greens, obviously. But it was going to take a round like this for someone to catch Bill Haas. And we watched the coverage all day long, and we watched Bill Haas. We knew he was in control. Uh, he just got a little loose with his iron game coming down the stretch. But Charles Schwartz put up probably the best round of the day 
because what was at stake? Only one win on tour, and that was the 2011 Masters. He really showed his medal today with his ball striking and his clutch putting. And, guys, it didn't fall into his lap. He no. birdied four no. of his last exactly. eight holes. He made birdies on a day right. where there were not a whole lot of birdies out right. there. For Bill House, he falls to two and three now in PGA Tour playoffs, and he is the subject of tonight's Titleist Tour report. Thanks, Bill. Obviously not the result you were looking for in the end. Take me through the playoff. Yeah, I mean, obviously a poor tee shot. The wind was off the left. Um, I was comfortable with it. I'd hit two good three woods on the back nine in regulation, uh, and I just hung on, to it, hung on to it a little bit, and the wind got it. But then it was a good break. I had a fine line. Um, really just kind of pushed that second shot again a hair. Um, you know, but that bunker shot, I probably won't be able to sleep tonight thinking about that one because that's, that's almost one of those bunker shots you're thinking about making, uh, and I might have just got... I don't know. I'm I, uh, pretty proud of my bunker game. That was just uh, poor execution. Describe what you take away from the week. I did a lot of good things. I putted great. I bet I led strokes game putting. I feel like I, that's what kept me in there. Uh, ball striking still has a little bit of work to do, but uh, when you make putts like that, it makes you feel like you can hit it anywhere and you're going to make par. So um, pleased with a lot, of, a lot of good things this week. Did a lot of good things indeed on a very difficult golf course, and he had been the master of the snake pit all weekend long, but 16 got him on this final day. It ultimately forced him into a playoff, and then the bogey at 18 in the playoff. All in all for Bill Haas, a quality, quality week on a day when it was a very difficult golf course. This is a guy that was in search of his seventh PGA Tour win. What was it about that final stretch that was your biggest concern? Well, he just was like, as Brian said, uh, he just missed a few iron shots in there. And I think that's, even though he putted well, he was uh, fourth in strokes green putting this week. So his putting had improved. Greens and regulation was right there. He just hit some loose iron shots at the wrong time. And these bunkers were tough to get it up and down. But like he said, that wasn't that hard a bunker shot. He had a lot harder bunker shot in the President's Cup. And 20 a lot feet. More pressure. 20 exactly. I mean, he blew it out of there by yeah. 20 feet. Did, did nerves get to him? Do you want to say that? I don't know how you really can. I mean, he, he struck the ball beautifully all week long, and he hit a loose iron shot. I think it was on number 15, uh, saved par there. Loose iron shot on number 16. He did make a nice swing to uh, 17. And then, you know, really the, the, the second shot into 18 is not so much his fault because of the execution. It was where he left his tee shot in the right rough to a back right hole location that's almost impossible to get to from the fairway. He's got a, he's got a tough angle, really had no shot at all. So he just made some loose swings, and if it's nerves, it probably – Maybe him trying a little too hard, or maybe just the conditions. He said it. Yeah. Key word. Execution. Yeah. He didn't execute. Yeah. Whether it's nerves or not, the execution right. wasn't there. Doesn't matter. And he joins the club of PGA Tour players with that one-shot lead at the 54 hole mark. Is 75% of the time, 75%, the leader with a one-shot lead and a 54 hole lead doesn't win. So Bill Haas joins a, the club that it, it seems like it happens more often than it does. It, it, it does. That's not a club you want to be a member, for <laughs> sure. That's, uh, that's one I don't want to join, but it happens, and that's one of the things, like you said, Schwartz will want it. I don't know so much that Bill lost it, but Schwartz will want it in the long run. All right, a lot more still to come here on Golf Central. Much more on Charles Schwartz, the former Masters champion, holding a trophy once again on the PGA Tour. And then what turned out to be a gigantic story as the day rolled along. Two 22-year-olds, one an amateur, the other the number one player in the world, Spieth and McCoy. Wait to hear what they had to say. It's coming up. Golf Central is brought to you by Titleist, the number one ball at the Valspar Championship. Titleist, the number one ball in golf. Bushnell Golf and the Tour X. Slope technology when you want it. Tournament legal when you need it.